I have not made a Tundra video in over six months. Family duties of a husband and father leave me with very minimal time to work in the garage, which most of that time goes towards the Subaru. As my daily driver, the Tundra gets little to no downtime for mods, especially sitting in a garage, that's not gonna happen. On the last episode of the Tundra build, I was in the process of swapping out the rear bumper corner that was damaged by the previous owner, found someone online, and got all four corners wrapped in white for a hundred bucks. I ended up selling two corners that I didn't need for $120, basically making 20 bucks off the deal. Turns out that I actually needed the front left corner as well, which I didn't sell. So bonus, got two corners that I needed to replace. Next, we installed Diode Dynamics SS3 Pro fog lights in amber, and there is no comparison to OEM halogen lights on this. I was absolutely blown away by the output of these DOT approved LED fog lights, and the amber color is just amazing. Today, I'm going to do a mod I've wanted to do since the day I purchased the truck, perform a chrome delete. The chrome delete is gonna consist of several items. First, we're gonna do the headlights, the old chrome housing headlights, have to go, we're gonna install TRD Pro headlights that have a black housing. The fog lights have already been done, so there's no chrome there to get rid of. The massive grill that goes across the front of the truck is gonna be changed to a TRD Pro color matched grill. The hood bulge that goes on top of that grill is also gonna be color matched. We are going to debadge the emblems on the doors, and we're also gonna to attempt to vinyl wrap all four bumper corners of the truck. I've only done a little bit of vinyl wrap on small parts of the Subaru. Didn't go as planned, so, We'll see how it goes. I purchased a set of used TRD Pro headlights, OEM, from a Facebook group for 200 bucks. When I got them, one of the tabs was broken off in the box, which really disappointed me, but the seller agreed to give me 50 bucks back uh, for the trouble. So got some super glue, glued it back on, used some two-part epoxy, made sure it was a good bond. And while I was in there, I decided to swap out the turn signal and slash driving bulbs for some cheap like 15 or $20 Amazon LED bulbs that you had to add the resistor. And the output of those was very impressive for the cost. I was really happy with the way these headlights turned out. It really made a difference on the front end of the truck. The grill and the hood bulge were next. I purchased OEM TRD Pro grill and hood bulge that's color matched from the factory. I think it was like $400. I waited for a good sale because shipping is a lot on these parts. So I ended up getting free shipping on it, which was a good deal. Uh, after removing a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts at the top, uh, there's a couple clips. You actually just pull the grill out. It's kind of scary at first, you gotta be careful, uh, but it just snaps in and out after those bolts are removed. Now comes the fun part, time to start vinyl wrapping. Uh, I needed to build my confidence a little bit because I wasn't too excited to get this started. So I popped off the mirror end caps and did those in the comfort of my own home and it actually went pretty well. I think I only ruined a little bit of vinyl, had to redo one of them uh, twice, but it came out pretty good. Moving on to the rear bumper corner, that was a different story. Once I got the bumper corner replaced with the undamaged one, I actually tore the vinyl a few times on the first attempt. Uh, it was really cold outside, I was pulling too hard on the vinyl, with no heat and it just tore right through the center of the bumper. So with a little help from my dad, of course, Papa coming to the rescue, I was able to get the vinyl wrapped on the third try on that left rear corner, but the right rear corner was actually a lot easier and was able to do that first try. Once I got to the front of the truck, I knew it was not gonna be easy. People charge three to $400 to wrap these corners and for the $100 in vinyl that I had invested, I couldn't believe it. Why would they charge so much money? Halfway through it, I realized why they charge so much money and that it was probably worth every penny. So I got the damaged corner replaced. So naturally the whole front end had to be removed. Again, I've probably taken the front end off this truck three or four times at this point. The grill, the trim pieces, parts of the bumper because I wanted to actually wrap behind the trim pieces with the vinyl. So all that came apart again. The center section, the balance of the bumper, which is like a black plastic piece, there is a lot of hidden little screws and nuts and bolts and things holding that on. So upon removing that, I thought I was clear. I thought I just had to pull, just like the front grill, you gotta pull hard and it pops off. 
Well, there's three bolts on each side of that piece that go into the bumper corners that I actually snapped off. But in true Brandon fashion, I couldn't get any job done without actually breaking something. What I just did was bad. Ripping that front comfort off was a big mistake. I thought I had everything detached, but I didn't. Their first few attempts at wrapping the front corner pieces was very discouraging. Me and my dad, again, pops still helping. We got the front bumper corner almost completely wrapped the first time and I didn't think it was that hard. And we had to add a bunch of heat, a bunch of stretch, and we added too much heat, got too close with the heat gun and it tore right through the vinyl. So that one was a waste to rip it off, throw it in the trash, try again. The second attempt, we were almost done. One of the little brackets was getting in the way by the upper fender. So I decided, hey, let's remove all those parts and that way we can tuck underneath on the top of the bumper. When I did that, bunch of crud, grime, road debris fell right into the vinyl, right under where the bumper was and the vinyl was sticky side up. Couldn't clean it, couldn't get rid of it. So rip off that piece again. And let's try for a third attempt. On the third attempt, we actually went to my in-laws house, put it in the garage, was in the shade, would not, I was not rushed, I took all the pieces off, cleaned it really well, used some Primer 94, I believe, from 3M for the corners, and it was victorious. We got it done on both sides. I mean, it took probably three or four hours on the third attempt, several hours on the first two attempts. So if you look at how much your labor is worth, it's probably best to just pay a professional to do it correctly because I think we probably ended up putting three or four days total, which is a long time, way too much time, but it's okay. We ended up getting it done. We do have some vinyl left over. I think I ended up, the vinyl that we purchased was Oracle vinyl. I'll link the description below. Um, got, I think you sell it by one feet by five feet. So I actually purchased, I think 12 or 13, 13 feet long by five feet wide. And we have a little bit of vinyl left over, but again, I wasted a ton of it. So I still had some vinyl left over uh, from it, but don't think I'll ever be doing that again. Now that the Chrome Delete is completely finished, I can say with confidence that I never want to work with vinyl wrap again. I'm not a professional. It's my first time really working with this stuff. It's not easy, but I am happy with the end result. It looks great. From about 10 feet, you get up close, there's some wrinkles and creases and some corners lifting, but I like it. It doesn't match perfectly with the gray, that's okay. The only thing left to do now on the exterior of the truck is going to be changing out the wheels and tires. I don't like 20s on 33s, that's not the look I'm going for, but for that we're gonna have to wait for the next episode. Please, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up down below and consider subscribing and turn on the post notifications. We'll see you next time.